so while I'm on fight announcements, we were just talking about Rashad getting his fight. Well, now there are rumors. Well, not really rumors, but Yoel Romero versus Robert Whitaker for the championship in the rematch. Now, all of a sudden, everybody is so excited about this fight. But we just saw it at like UFC 213 or something like that. We just saw this fight go down. We saw what happens in five rounds. And big shout out to Robert Whitaker in that fight. I mean, he was able to, to, to tough it out even though he had a, a busted leg. And get the win over you all, Romero. But I'm not excited to see the rematch. I am not excited to see this. There are rumors that it's going to be going down in June. And you know what? Yoel deserves it. Don't get me wrong. Yoel definitely deserves this fight. Whitaker, I mean, we had a backup in this middleweight division for a while because we had Bisbing, who knocked out Luke Rockhold, hold the title, beat Dan Henderson, um, you know, stay in there, fight GSP. GSP gives the title up. Now Whitaker, instead of being the interim champion, he becomes the real champion. But he's actually been out on the injured list, and now he's going to return to fight Yoel Romero again. I mean, who else do you have in this division? That is deserving of the next title shot. Let's take a look. All right, so in the middleweight division, you have Robert Whitaker as champ. Yoel, number one contender. Then you have Jacare Souza in second. Luke Rockhold in third. And while I'm talking about Luke Rockhold, he's saying that he's not even going to return to the middleweight division, that the weight cut has been too brutal for him, that he's interested in fighting somebody like Alexander Gustafson. What? Hold up. What, dude? I don't understand that because if you're moving up, you're most likely going to be fighting DC, but wait, no, you're not because DC is moving up and he's going to be fighting Stipe and international. So what happens if you beat Alexander Gustafson? He's actually more interested in having a Bisbing fight, the trilogy fight at a hundred or at 205 pounds. So we'll have to hear back at what uh, Bisbing has to say about that. That has been the rumor going around right now, but I guess we can take Luke Rockhold of the discussion of middleweight, but I mean that was a, another rumor going around this week in an interview that he did with with Ariel saying that he is not returning. And I remember what he looked like at the weigh-ins for his last fight. He looked so depleted. It it, it wasn't a pretty it was not a pretty sight. So I I think this is the right idea. But then again, um, your friend is also the champion. So makes things very interesting here. Especially if DC loses against Stipe. I mean, who calls out Alexander Gustafson? That is not a smart fight for Luke Rockle. Tell me if I'm wrong, but... And it's such a shame because Alexander Gustafson... Oh, it's such a shame that he's lost these fights against, you know, DC at the championship level because and, and John Jones Bones because he is such... A good example of somebody that the UFC can get behind to make a superstar out of if they kept the win streak going I mean don't get me wrong because he does have a huge back backing especially where he's from but at the same time I feel like he could be a bigger star than what he is and if you guys remember the UFC tried backing him I mean that fight with John Bones Jones I still want to see that rematch but Luke Rockhold versus Alexander Gustafson you know what you think about that. So we can take Luke Rockhold out of third in the middleweight division, which puts Chris Weidman at third. Then Kelvin Gaslam, Michael Bisbang, Derek Brunson at seven, David Branch at eighth, Uriah Hall at ninth. And, uh, I'm a little nervous about Uriah Hall, but we'll talk about that on a different show. Then 10, Vitor Belfort. I mean, who is who would be next? Jacare Souza, who's, who's coming off a win to Derek Brunson back in January. But he also recently lost to Robert Whitaker in April of 2017. So it, it would be nice to see some fresh new faces at this middleweight division. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I, I have noticed that there are a lot more people that are more interested in seeing this rematch than they were at seeing the uh, the first fight, which was for the interim title. Which I believe Yoel couldn't even win because he missed weight or something like that. So only... Um, only... Robert Whitaker was eligible to win that night. Recently, like that fight just happened. Like I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get. I just don't get how uh, how everyone is so on board with this. But correct me if I'm wrong. But let's move forward 
with some more.